How you doing? We're back again and I can see the symbols back up because today we're going to do a bit more on our clone rifle. So today what I'm going to talk about is how I'm going to fill up the different holes, uh, screw holes and the other holes on the actual gun which were used for different placements of the scope and the magazine and things like that. And what I'm using to fill up the holes actually is this polymer clay putty. It's a type of craft clay that people use here for making different little bits of every craft. Um, once you take it out, you mold it whatever you want, and it basically dries into this hard type of polymer plastic, um, which is really useful. Now the reason why I'm using this is because I want to fill up the screw holes um, in a certain way that if I need to, that I can cake them out again. Um, and that's what I'm hoping to do with these is that I'm going to fill up all the holes and then once they've dried that if I need to I'll be able to just kind of like scoot them out again that they won't be able to, they won't affect the actual um, screws that they're hiding that's the theory anyway okay so as you can see I've already used the polymer to fill up some of the screw holes um, and I've also used it to fill up the seam where the joints had come together and I've also used it then to make some extra details on the actual weapon and to fill up um, the sight piece here and it looks a bit rough but basically it fills up that gap and makes it look more like a bit like a scope piece so once all this is painted it's all going to disappear but well, for the moment, we are going to talk about how to fill up these holes here and also then how to make the cap to go over the battery compartment. So this is the putty. Um, let's break in here now. It doesn't seem like a lot, but there's actually quite a lot in these little packets because you don't need a lot of it when you're doing little things but that's it, it looks like a piece of black tire. Now these just come in different colours for me I can get it in any colour basically you want um, the reason why I'm using black is because I'm going to paint the gun black so it just makes more sense um, basically yeah and you just pull it out and I can feed it into whatever I want to fill up to have enough of it I then I smooth it over with my finger. And that's it, just wait for it to set and dry. Um, what I'm going to do for here is the same thing. I'm basically just going to take a big chunk of this. Now, these holes might actually take up a lot of my putty. These are quite deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in here to actually fill it up beforehand. And what I'm going to use is this old piece of foam which came from my case of my iPhone and it's just about the right width. And so I'm just going to snip this off here. Snip it in half. Yeah, that has given me a good feeling there, which means then later on if I need to get this off, I can do so. And the inside is still protected. Yeah, I just need to flatten this out. Now you could use other things to do this, you could cover it in plastic if you don't want to keep it you could just yeah, super glue a piece of plastic over it but I don't know, I might need it at some point so instead of destroying it and not having it um, 
just like they have the idea of going back and using it later on if I need it. I'm just using my nails now to get back around the edges of this. Okay, so there it is. That's all smoothed out as best as I can. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's got a few little bumps on it, but it's all painted up. Nobody's going to know the difference. So now I just need to fill up this one as well. And we do the same thing with this. I'm going to fill it up with this styrofoam, and then. Put it up with the polymer clay. I do apologize for the sound in the background, just that it's summertime now in Japan and it is so hot, I gotta have the air conditioning on. Otherwise, I'd be melting here right now. Okay, so that's all that protected in there. I just want to put a thin layer of the uh, polymer clay on it. Now this starts to cure within 20 minutes, but it takes about three or four days to go rock solid. So you do have a very small window of time to work with it, but the end results are pretty good. Right, so yeah, we want to cover up the battery cover. So I've just made out this kind of little paper template, a uh, cardboard template, today, out of a piece of box. Um, if you notice, I put a screw here because what I want to do is there's a little indent in here which I want to be able to catch the lid into and lay it across and then screw it into place. Um, so it's going to be something like this on the top, then with the indent underneath. So Knowing that that's about the right size, I can then take some more of my polymer putty and we're just going to soften it up a little bit. And we're going to start laying on top of the cardboard so I can get the right size. So this stuff is just really easy to work with. And so I want to have a little bit of a bend in it. I'm just using a um, metal tweezers here. And I'm just going to use that to smooth down the edges. Now you could use a modeling knife, anything you want, basically. But for me, this is what I got at hand at the moment. And it works pretty well. At the end of the day, people are not going to be looking at this too closely. Um, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but this will give me a nice little rubber cap to put at the end. And because it's polymer, if I need to, I can always cut it a little bit more into shape. 
using a hobby knife or scissors. I'm just going to see if I can flatten this down a little bit, get out some of the bumps. A lot of my fingerprints in there, which I want to get rid of. You don't want them showing up. And once you start spraying with a few coats of paint, it's going to cover up a lot of the, the detail as well, so don't worry too much. Now there we have it, um, pretty smoothed out, did me fine, um, and I've also then put an indent in and put a hole through where my screw is going to go over here, and basically it's going to sit like that. Okay, so now my next step is to make my piece that's going to go in here. So again, I'm just going to get some of my polymer. And what I will end up doing is once I have let the set and dry, I will super glue the clip to the actual door piece um, and then that will keep all that in place. Again, just working it around, make it nice and soft. And now I want to make sure there's enough to go in here to make my tooth. We know where that's going to go now. Where that tooth part's going to be. I can flatten it out a little bit. And bring some disband the back to reinforce it. Everything's okay. Oh, so now I'm gonna make. Yeah. So there we go. That should fit nicely there. And I know then that this part should do the direction. Oh, that way is where my lid's gonna be. A nice little base here because this is what we're going to super glue onto the other part. Well, I could try attaching it now, but um, at the end of the day, I want them to set separately. But this doesn't have to be too beautiful. A little bit of ridge on this because I know that the other part's going to have the bevel in it as well. Now, we'll bring you back and they have dried. Make sure that's at a good angle. There we go. Right, here we are. Um, this has been about two days now left to cure and it's gone really kind of rubbery now, it's really nice and I know that it will stiffen up a little bit more as time goes by. Um, I've super glued these pieces together. Now I had left the cardboard on it a bit too long and it's kind of got stuck on it a bit which I don't really mind because it kind of gives a bit more rigidity to it as well um, but do be careful about that if you're using this putty. It's my first time I've used it with anything like this, so it's my, I'm still on a learning curve. Um, I've put my screw in already. It's got a washer screw on it, so it's not going to fall straight through. And I've put some design on it from a small Picatinny rail, which I had. I just invented into it. So, basically, this little toot here is going to go into this part over here. So, and then my screw goes in the hole that I've already made. Uh, 
and that's it that keeps everything nicely in place um, there's a bit of there's a little bit of gap there which I kind of expected but uh, yeah that's going to stop my battery from falling out there we go I've got my battery back in at the moment so once everything's painted black it should be pretty good and no one's really going to see that part so there we go hope you like this short video um, I hope it's been helpful for you please like and subscribe um, the next part I'm going to have to do is then prep the gun to get it ready for painting so that's going to be in the next episode so please keep an eye out until then may the force be with you